What's up everyone? Today we're gonna to be talking about the Unsharp Mask. It is such an underrated effect within Premiere Pro and honestly, it's incredible what you can do with it. It allows you to enhance and sharpen the details in certain parts of your image. And there's a lot of parameters that you can change. By a lot, I mean three. So let's jump on into it and show you how powerful this is. If you have a shitty camera and it's not as sharp, this tool will allow you to fix that. The Unsharp Mask works by increasing the contrast between adjacent pixels, which makes the edges of objects appear more defined and crisp. To apply the Unsharp Mask, simply select the clip you want to edit and go to the Effects panel. From there, search for Unsharp Mask and drag it onto your clip. In the Unsharp Mask Effects settings, you can adjust the amount radius, and threshold to fine tune the sharpness of your clip. A higher amount will increase the contrast between pixels and create a more pronounced sharpening effect. The radius determines the size of the pixels that will be affected by the effect. And the threshold controls how much difference there needs to be between adjacent pixels for the effect to be applied. Play around with all of these effects because you might get something that you like. I found that keeping the amount around 50 to 175 works on a majority of the clips. And the interesting thing is you can kind of reverse it. So if you have a high amount, I like to have a low radius. But now if you wanna inverse it and have a high radius and lower the amount, you'll get a different sharpening effect, which is kind of cool as well. It should be noted that under threshold, there is a drop down arrow. And I would recommend increasing all of your settings and clicking that drop down arrow under threshold and slowly dragging it to see what part of the image the unsharp mask is going to adjust before you start manipulating the radius and the amount. Because then this will allow you to get a more refined control over the area you want to affect. Honestly, the Unsharp Mask should be in every editor's toolkit because it can allow you to fine tune the nitty gritty details of any shoot you're working on. And you can get a super punchy shot or you can just clean up the edges of some blurry footage. So with that said, I hope you guys have a wonderful start to 2023. I'm going to be grinding away this year. No matter what, I'm not making any excuses because I will do one tutorial a week and we'll start there and see how it goes. But if you like this video, please click that thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.